Brian, how has the vehicle painting competition within World Skills become more environmentally friendly these days? The um, competition will become more environmentally friendly because we're using water-based products uh, that will be supplied by Standox. Today we're going to be doing Standahide Waterborne. Yep. Okay. We're going to be working on application. It's a light coat followed by one full coat, followed by a mist coat over the top, all in one visit to the spray panels. Okay. DuPont Performance Coatings got involved with the World Skills yeah. last year with Standahide product from Standox due to the national winner Stuart going to World Skills in Japan and they were going to use the Waterborne product in Japan. Now Stuart had very little training in Waterborne so we spent some months with Stuart doing some training over a number of days and Stuart ended up taking out a silver medal. Um, because we are showing the general public in the exhibition centre what trades are about um, we need to make sure that the environment is as safe as possible for the general public and also the, the apprentices using the product. Yeah, today what we'll be using is Iwata W400 with the WB1 with a 1.3mm setup in it. Because with Waterborne, the film build is only between 10 and 15 micron film build of the base coat anyway. So what do we need for air pressure? Air pressure, we're going to be spraying at about 2 bar. These products are at least 80% more environmentally friendly than what the existing products are out in the marketplace. I guess the biggest environmental advantage uh, we have by using waterborne base coats in the vehicle and finishing industry is the reduction of solvents into the atmosphere and therefore reducing the impact on the ozone layer. So by uh, reducing uh, the amount of solvent used um, up to around 70% in the general refinishing system it's making a big difference to uh, the damage we're doing to the atmosphere. There are other advantages around occupational health and safety. How do you think the competitors are going to benefit from using this product? The competitors are going to benefit because this is new technology into Australia. Um, this is the first time it's been used at an international uh, uh, national competition. Waterborne paints are widely used around the world, not so much in Australia and New Zealand at the moment, uh, more so through Europe. Europe has a 2007 what they call a VOC legislation which means they're cutting all the vo volatile organic compounds or as many as possible out of the solvent paints. This is why they've gone to waterborne paints. You can reduce your emissions of solvents from up to uh, up to 70 percent uh, out of the paint, paint system you're using by using waterborne base coats. Uh, legislation is now being passed in California, Canada and parts of Asia so I guess it, uh, it won't be too long before we see it uh, have legislation down in Australia and New Zealand. The product itself is just slowly creeping into the marketplace and within the next two years, um, Australia-wide, the uh, water-based product will be used amongst all the panel shops. The technique used for applying waterborne is not really that much different than applying solvent. We apply the waterborne in one light coat, one full wet coat and one light coat. The biggest difference being that there is no no flash off, what we call flash off time between coats. Therefore, you apply one coat directly after the next. With the solvent borne product, we apply one coat and then we generally leave it five to ten minutes before recoating. Is water based paint the way of the future? Yes, water based paint is the way of the future. We're taking after the Europeans and the Americans as their example. Um, we're setting up in Australia to uh, introduce the water based paint here and make the whole concept of painting motor vehicles more environmentally friendly and it will be the product for the future. There's um, no turning around now. We have to meet the VAC standards internationally and um, Australia is just about to take this on.